this church Come experience A lot of folk want a quick way to success. They want a, a shortcut, a microwave version of ministerial success. It ain't like that, baby Baba. You're going to have to go through some stuff. As a matter of fact, I don't even think you are qualified to minister to me if you ain't been through some stuff. Do not come to me talking about this is how you handle that and you ain't had to handle it. Don't be telling me about what, I would, what you would do if you were me, if you ain't ever been me and never had to go through what I've had to go through. I want somebody who's been through some stuff. I want somebody who's been to hell and back, but God gave a round trip ticket. I want somebody who's been through some stuff and can tell me God brought me, God kept me, God raised me, and I'm stronger, wiser, and better. Anybody been through some stuff? Anybody going through some stuff right now? Oh, let me give it to you for free. All of us, let me tell you something. Here it is. All of us are going to do some going through. Uh-huh. So don't be looking around all holy. All of us are going to do some going through. Matter of fact, look down your row. Somebody is either going through, they just went through, or guess what? You on your way through. But it's the going through that qualifies you for what you're going to. And so that's what's happening with David here. And David, watch this. The thing is really set up. David is sent by his daddy, Jesse, to go down to the battlefield where uh, the Israelites are, are fighting against the uh, Philistines. And the Bible lets us know he is sent by his daddy. You see, God can use anybody to get you in position for what God is up to in your life. And so he's sent by his daddy. He gets down to the front lines and he hears this giant for listing by the name of Goliath. He is taunting the people of God, talking smack to them. I mean, talking big time smack. Come on, bring somebody here because he is the representative of the Philistines. And the thing was, if one person came out to fight him, whoever won that fight would secure the victory for the community. And so here is David. David sees this giant for listing talking all this smack. And to make matters worse, his Israelite brothers who were on the front line lines were all scared and scared and so as a consequence check out what David says David says what's going on here and his brother Eliab comes up and says hold on what you doing here trying to mess with folk why you down here you always trying to get some attention for yourself here's what will trip you out David came to bring them some food and Eliab begins to talk smack here's the deal Eliab was at the anointing of David and evidently has a little jealousy in there because you do know everybody ain't happy about what God has anointed you to do. You do know you got some people who want to keep you back where you used to be. And so at the moment that you get upgraded by God's anointing on your life, they don't like you. They can't handle you. That's why you got to watch the folk you run with because some folk like you just the way you were but can't stand where God is trying to take you. And when they see God is trying to take you somewhere and they know they ain't going nowhere, they'll start hating on you because they hate the fact that really it ain't you they hate, it's themselves they hate. They sorry, they trifling, they low down, they ain't going nowhere, and they trying to project onto you their own triflingness. Yeah. So Eliab goes off on David and David says, man, I'm just here to bring y'all some food. But he talks bad about Goliath. Saul hears about it, says, bring him here. David goes to Saul. Saul says, I hear you talking smack about whooping Goliath. Ain't no thing but chicken wing. I can handle me some Goliath. Saul says, yeah, I know you can't. 
You can't handle. He's been fighting since his youth. He's a man of war. David says, hold on. What makes you think I ain't had no battles? What makes you think I ain't had no fights? Oh, here it is. A whole lot of us have fights that folk know nothing about. I've discovered that you ought to be careful about how you treat me. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what fights I've had. I may look all suave and sophisticated, but baby Baba, I had to pay a price to get that suaveness. I'm simply trying to say you don't know what people have been through. You don't know what anybody in here can testify if you knew the battles I've been through you'd be running around this church shouting for me. Is there anybody here who's been through some fights that folk know nothing about? Is there anybody here who's been through some struggles that people are clueless about? You've been, all, you've been through the fire already. Look what David said. David said, man, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm a shepherd. Lion tried to grab my lamb. And you know what I did? I grabbed that lamb out the lion's mouth. And that lion tried to jack with me. And I killed that lion. Bear came after me. I killed that bear. But then he shifted and said, God delivered me. And there it is right there. David is simply saying, I'm different, man. I'm different because of what God has assigned my life to. And that's the word I came to tell everybody in here. There's an assignment on your life. God is up to something in your life. And God may have to use a Goliath in order to show everybody else what God is up to in your life. So go ahead, go to battle, but make sure you do things on God's terms and not Saul's terms. Make sure you do things on your terms instead of trying to be like everybody else. Christian West Baptist Church.